crafty friends. I sure hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. I am very excited to welcome you to the Spring Prima Doll Hop. I am co-hosting this event with my crafty BFF, Michelle Randolph from Shabby Chic Chick. We have gathered an amazing group of designers who will share their beautiful projects using the Prima Julie Nutting Dolls. Also, we will have fun giveaways. In order to participate in the giveaway, you must be 18 years or older, a U.S. or international resident. If you are an international resident, you will receive a PayPal online credit in lieu of a physical prize. You must also be a visible subscriber to each of the channels that are participating in the hop. For my project, I've created this altered embroidery hoop. Before I review the project, let me show you some of the items that I used. The paper collection that I used is by Minte. It's called Homemade. This is available at ASC Craft Supplies. They have two retail locations. You can visit them on their website or on their Etsy store. Also, please feel free to use my coupon code ROBIN10 to receive a 10% discount upon checkout. I used this prim doll. She is called Kelly, and I selected her because she reminds me of me. She's curvy, but she's also got a lot of fun and personality. This embroidery hoop measures nine inches, and I had so much fun decorating it and adding all of the layers. Most of the flowers I have added here are handmade, and on the top, I've adorned the hoop with this beautiful peachy pink colored ribbon. In the center, I've created this flower and I also used a prima dye to create the background. On the left I have this beautiful antique bronze dragonfly and I've embellished it with this pearl. We have more of these beautiful handmade flowers and I've embellished some of the flowers with folk art glitterific just to give it a little bit of shine and sparkle. These flowers here are graphic 45 flowers and I wanted to shabby it up so I used some white acrylic paint and I distressed it. I also distressed these flowers here. There's lots of fussy cut details. The Minte homemade paper is absolutely gorgeous and I had so much fun fussy cutting and layering all of these roses here on the side. In the center I've got my beautiful doll. I did embellish her dress with this crocheted lace trim. To the right I have this crafter's companion die and in the center I have a sentiment that says love is a flower that blossoms in the heart. I've embellished this area here with this beautiful pearl and rhinestone heart. On the left, we have more of these beautiful flowers. And as you can see, there are several handmade flowers here. I'm going to adjust my camera so I can give you a closer look at this project. Here you can see the handmade flower and this beautiful die cut flower that is behind it. I use lots of fun die cuts. This piece here is from Crafter's Companion. It's an oval frame. And you can see more of these beautiful flowers and fussy cut details here. And here's more of this beautiful glittered lace. I just love the way this turned out. For this project, I did not do a tutorial because I have several videos on my channel that shows you how to create an altered embroidery hoop. I will be sure to include a link in the description box below. This concludes my review of my Prima Doll Altered Embroidery Hoop. Hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to visit the other participants in the YouTube Hop. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now, and happy crafting.